Welcome to our presentation at the CIMU Tools 2021. My name is Vadim Hapanchak from the University of Minho, Portugal. In this presentation, I will show you our work on emulation of multipath solution in heterogeneous wireless networks over NS3 platform. Nowadays, mobile devices supports different types of uh, wireless interfaces, such as Wi-Fi and LTE. It has been shown that multipath transmission can improve network resilience and increase data throughput by using multiple links simultaneously. The use of multipath approach has been recently adopted for 5G cellular networks for use in services designed to support high data rate, high reliability, and low latency requirements. Simulation is the common technique to evaluate the performance of multipath solutions. However, it takes time for new protocols to be implemented and integrated into the simulator. On the other hand, testing in the controlled environment require real testbed deployment, which can, which can be expensive and hard to manage. Furthermore, real hardware equipment is challenging to modify, upgrade and scale. We believe that emulation is the best choice for evaluating emerging multipath solution that can combine real system and arbitrary complex simulation scenarios to produce more realistic results. In this presentation, I will show how to emulate and test multipath TCP protocol in heterogeneous wireless environment combining Linux container with the well-known NS3 simulator. Multipath TCP is an extension to the regular TCP that allows data traffic to be split across different interfaces, also called paths. Multipath TCP aims to provide reliable connectivity by seamlessly switching between interfaces during data transmission. The advantage of multipass TCP is that additional supply can be created as soon as the mobile node has network coverage. Much of recent research on multipath use lightweight emulators like Core or Mininet. Nevertheless, these instruments have limited realism when modeling the physical layer effects of wired and wireless connections, such as interference and signal propagation. NS3 is one of the most widely used open source network simulators. It implements realistic uh, modeling of uh, various communication technologies, supports a wide range of routing protocols and uh, configuration of network parameters with uh, different types of mobility models. NS3 enables the evaluation with uh, near real life performance measurements. Uh, it it can work in so-called uh, real-time mode, which allows the integration of the simulation environment with the real devices. Linux container is a set of processes isolated from the rest of operating system. Uh, it executes as simple processes with uh, uh, independent view of the system resources, a separate process tree and uh, network interfaces. When NS3, uh, NS, when uh, network simulator and three runs in emulation mode, uh, external devices can exchange packets 
with the simulated network in real time using the special NS3 devices. For instance, link between Linux operating system and the simulator can be implemented using TAP virtual network device allowing layer two packets, reception and transmission. All the required components like bridge, TAP devices, virtual Ethernet devices should be created and configured before the emulation session starts. Multipath TCP is implemented uh, at the kernel space of the Linux operating system, working transparent, transparently for the user application uh, that run inside uh, containers. To perform our evaluation, we have added full support of uh, multipass TCP to the Linux kernel by using publicly available patch for it. Uh, to demonstrate the abilities of the proposed emulation technique, we carried out a simple uh, study of multipass TCP. In particular, we focus on wireless heterogeneous networks such as Wi Fi and 4G. Uh, we simulate a scenario where a multi home user equipment is connected to the server with two network interfaces. Uh, routing tables were configured in Linux containers and uh, on each NS3 node uh, in order to create multipath communication scenario. The emulation environment uh, were configured as realistic as possible to get reliable results. Uh, most protocols and the channel configuration in our experiments use, uh, uses they uh, default settings, unless otherwise specifies. The emulation parameter used for analysis were configured as listed in table. Uh, now let's look closer on implementation. Uh, the combination of the left container and user equipment node on the NS3 can be seen as one all representing a client node. Accordingly, the right container and remote node can be seen as one single host running application server logic. File descriptor net device, FD net device, was used to connect Linux container with the simulated environment. It can read traffic from the file descriptor associated to the tab device, socket or user space process. As you can see, this approach result in additional hope with around half milliseconds delay and requires more careful configuration. But uh, on the other hand, it allows the simulation of all network models currently available in NS3. In the first scenario, we run multipass TCP session, uh, as can be seen on the figure. Uh, MPTCP splits the generated traffic amongst two subflows. Uh, thus, it can aggregate bandwidth of available links and we get increased overall throughput as expected. Also, we run a simple mobility scenario where the user equipment initially connected uh, to both cellular and Wi-Fi networks moves away from the coverage of uh, Wi-Fi as a point uh, to trigger the handover procedure. As can be seen on the figure, connection migrates between wireless interfaces without disrupting application layer data flow.
next, we have evaluated uh, the scalability of the described emulation method. Uh, science limited scalability is the common issue of all emulation based experiments uh, with the complex scenarios. NS3 apply a real time scheduler in emulation mode that synchronize the simulation clock with the hardware clock. Events in the simulation proceed according to the system time. But in large scale scenario, the incurred event may be delayed. This delay also called jitter. With, uh, with uh, some certain number of uh, LTE devices, the processing of the simulation events cannot keep up with the hardware clock. Also, the round trip time measured between Linux containers also start to increase. Um, thus, it is important to monitor this metrics in order to guarantee a reasonable accuracy of the experimental results. Some previous wars have successfully exploited the emulation capability of NS3. However, none of these works has focused on multipath emulation with a detailed description of the employee testbed and uh, related limitations. This work presents an emulation technique to analyze multipath communication over heterogeneous wireless links it exploits the realistic network behavior offered by an S3 platform. Uh, first, we have uh, described in detail the emulation scheme, which allows the interaction of NS3 with real system. We have uh, carried out an illustrative study of multipath TCP when uh, used over wireless networks such as Wi Fi and cellular. Uh, the expected protocol behavior were registered uh, through the experiments. Finally, we have discussed the limitation of the presented emulation method. Um, the simulation delay or, or jitter was used um, as the primary fidelity indicator. It is shown that the processing load of the NS3 based emulation has a significant impact on real-time execution. Um, also, all test scenarios, uh, source code uh, and configuration scripts we made uh, publicly available. Um, if you have any question about our emulation methods, be free to contact me. Thank you.